Yeah, Joseph Park is a good fight. He's a good fighter, and he comes across a gentleman as well. You can see. But I tell you this: I can see their team and him looking past me already, underestimating me. Like they're already going on meetings with uh, what's his name now, Eddie. Uh, so and arranging arranging fights. But I tell you this: I would take me completely serious because I am coming for that belt. 100%. Run, and, and to Eddie and Run. Matt Crouch, yeah, because that's what you are, yeah, you and your big stiff fighter, yeah, I'm coming for you next, yeah, when I get that bout, me and Tyson is unifying this full division together. Run. That's a full stop. Maybe just a quick response there from anybody from, uh, are, are you actually looking past this fight, gentlemen? I can promise you this, like, you know, we have come a long way. Uh, Dave's come from New Zealand, so has Craig, I've flown from Vegas. We're making the most of our opportunity here in London and meeting with uh, Eddie Hearn was not looking past Huey Fury, I can promise you that. If anyone knows anything about me, is I'm a detailed guy and, and I don't leave anything, un any stone unturned. And I, as you heard me say before, I think this is the hardest fight of Joseph's career, and I am not looking past Huey. Yeah, I think it's worth saying the boxer and trainer are fully focused on the fight in front of them, but the promoter's job is to scan ahead, you know, for all eventualities. So I'm backing Kevin up there. It's not looking past, it's just making the most of the massive airfares we paid for to get up here. Kill